There are bridges and locks and moorings and docks when messing about in the river. Right, it's Tony Haynes for Val Radio. Um, out and about. And I'm standing at a place called Neyburn Locks, which is where the tidal ooze meets the rest of the ooze, which goes up through York. And I'm here with... Kevin Young from Canal and River Trust. OK, and what are you doing here, Kevin? Um, we're starting a restoration project. Um, I've sort of been working for Canal and River Trust for around about six months, and uh, uh-huh. um, I met my lock keeper for the first time, Kenny, um, who's one of the lock keepers at Neyburn. Yeah. Um, showed me around the site and showed me basically what we had on the island which is where we are standing today. Um, he showed me a workshop, which is was yeah. full of junk and yeah. uh, uh, an old blacksmith's forge and mm. some old lock offices. So what we're trying to do today um, and going forward is um, to uh, restore the workshop. Um, there's lathes and uh, milling machines and everything right. else in there, which yeah. we've, with the help of some volunteers, we've actually got that yeah. up and running now and, and to the stage where we can open it to the public. Um, we're currently working on the blacksmith's forge where we're just cleaning out, as you've seen already today, yeah. Tony. Yeah, amazing. Um, cleaning that out with a view to getting the forge back up and running right. and hopefully yeah. getting a, a blacksmith in situ. Well, that would be, be fantastic. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, all, all the equipment that were on site was really um, sort of there for the British waterways years ago where they used to make all the lock collars and gates mm. and any iron work for, for the actual gates. So when did they stop using it? Um, this was basically um, sort of as as an offices and centre was abandoned around about 1990. Mm-hmm. Um, this particular area floods quite badly, so yeah, yeah. Um, you know it's a constant problem. So what we're having to do is look at um, ingenious ways of trying to make it as flood proof as we can. Right. We're never going to get rid of the water, so no. we're just managing that situation now. So we're making it really simple to clean out. Uh, with a power washer, uh, and which is what's going on in the background now. Yeah, that's what's going to yeah, bust. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, we're looking to um, clean everything out, get it yeah. up and running, open to the public. We're going to open an information centre uh, and have a heritage open day on the thirteenth oh. of September okay, yeah. for people to come yeah. round and look and see what yeah. we've actually done so far. And that's phase one of the project. Phase two of the project, which is where we're standing now, will be uh, open air classrooms for children to come down and do an open air classroom, learn about the canal system, the river networks, mm-hmm. um, flower gardens, uh, and everything else that we're going to put on site. So it's going to be a complete open air classroom for the children. So. It's quite a, actually quite an adventure too, and a lot, an awful lot of work. For you. A massive amount of work, and, and we're very thankful to the volunteers. We've had a, a hardy ban- bunch of volunteers yeah. that have been uh, sort of coming every couple of weeks just to give us. So, a what hand. kind of skills are you looking for? Um, the skills, really, we've, we've got a cross section. Um, one of the volunteers uh, has got a great deal of knowledge about heavy engineering and mm. comes from an engineering background, so obviously interested in the machine tools and everything else. Um, we've just got somebody who's an ex painter and decorator who's going to help us doing the painting and decorating side, um, and we're really now looking for sort of blacksmith knowledge really and, and expertise in that sort of field to come and give us some yeah. um, information about the blacksmith forge uh, and some background on, on the actual forge. Well, what about people that are volunteer that haven't got any skills? Are they useful to you? Yeah, very useful because um, yeah. going forward once we get it open mm. um, this will be open to the public 365 days a year yeah. so we're looking for volunteers to actually come and man the information and, and basically like a tour guide so um, we'll have an information site and uh, hopefully the blacksmith's forge working but also the machine shop open for the general public to come around so we're looking for anybody who's sort of got some spare time and got an interest and, 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 and how often do you actually meet them yeah um we come every two weeks to, at the moment while we're doing this project yeah um but going forward we want that 365 days right, a year okay. open really so and how would people get in touch with you um, through the Canal and River Trust website, um, or through our volunteering site, which okay. is operated on the Canal and River Trust website, and that goes through our to our coordinator Claire McDonald, who will then obviously pass any details and, and will arrange for for a meeting and come down to site and see what we're doing. That's right. fine. Yeah. So, and generally speaking, I mean, I did describe earlier. This is where the tide lose meets the non tide lose. It is yes. But uh, what, what's it used for now? Um, it's generally a pleasure craft. That's, yeah. um, I mean, um, back originally the car was built for for means of getting grain and coal up into York um, mm. from sort of Goole and, and the docks and Selby and that sort of area. But now it, it is basically a, a pleasure industry. So most of our um, boat traffic is, is canal boat use and also uh, people going down as 
uh, and going abroad because we get people who come up from Amsterdam, Holland, and everywhere else up the River Humber, up the River Humber, yeah. and, and up into York. Well, what about how does this connect to the rest of the canal system? Um, well, it connects from from York going north. You can go right the way up on the canal system, river system, up to Ripon. That's as far north as you can get. But um, south, you can go from uh, down to Selby, and you can pick up the Selby Canal, and that brings you into the entire network down onto the River Trent, uh, Newark, and, and from there you can go basically anywhere in the country. Well, so, what, what about boat owners that are a bit worried about tidal waters? Have you got any advice for them? Um, t- because t- that bit from Selby to here. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it's not for the faint-hearted. It, no. it, it, it is completely different to operate in a boat, an boat or any sort of boat on a canal system. Um, we always advise that, you know, where possible have a, a crew of two, and what we tend to try and do is... Um, when they leave Selby or Naban, we try to pair people up. So you may have somebody who's done this on a regular basis and somebody who's a novice. So we tend to try and send the boats down in pairs so that there's an experienced skipper and, and, and a novice. So we do try and give as much experience. Do you keep, do you keep an eye on them while you know they're there? Yeah, yeah I mean, once, yeah. once our lock keeper here at Naban pens out a boat going down mm. to Selby, the um, bridge keeper's all the way down and notified and also the lock keeper at Selby, and they're in constant radio contact with the boats as well as... Yeah. Um, so we do keep an eye on them right the way through the passage because it, it is an interesting passage at times, but um, you speak to some people who say they love it, and you get some people who go, oh, I don't know if I'd want to do that again. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. Okay, anyway, boat owners or non-boat owners, just uh, waterways enthusiasts are very welcome to come along and help out with the restoration work that's going on here yeah, at Rayburn Locks. Yeah, very much so. And mm. uh, say come down for the open day on the 13th of September. 13th of September. Um, we're hopefully going to have some of the Humber Keels coming up. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. We're going to obviously have the lock open mm. and all the uh, workshops uh, and some other displays. Some uh, some of the lock gates from our Stanley Ferry are going to come yeah. up and give some talks on that and some... Um, uh, have our heritage apprentices doing uh, line mortar skills and stuff like that. So. Sounds like a fantastic day out. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, hope you book the good weather. Oh, well, I'll definitely. It's, <laughs> it's booked in advance, well in advance. <laughs> Kevin, thanks very much for speaking to us. Thank you very much. So I'll leave you right now to cast off your bow to go messing about on the river.